Well, you guys got another video on how to stop Windows from automatically locking itself. In this video, we're looking at how to prevent Windows 11 and Windows 10 from locking itself first by disabling a bunch of features inside Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's first start off with Windows 11 because we're already on the operating system. I'm going to go to the start button and then go to settings. Inside here, you want to go to accounts. Once you're inside accounts, you're going to see some account settings down on the right hand pane here. So we want to look for here, sign in options. Click on the sign in options. And from here, the first additional setting that you want to change down here is in the dynamic lock. This is the first area. So just drop the arrow down here on the dynamic lock. And this will open up an option for you. You can see right there, it says allow Windows to lock your device automatically when you're away. Now, if you want to allow that to happen, then obviously leave that check marked. But if you don't want it to keep turning off and locking your device, then remove that check mark right there. Next above that, if you've been away, when should Windows require you to sign in? You can also set this to never if you want to. You will need to put your password in if you have one on the computer. And then when you click OK here, you'll see there'll be a little line of text underneath here that says you will not need to sign in when you're away from your computer. If you want to set it up like that, then that's where you can do that option right there on Windows 11. There is one more little setting that you can do here on Windows 11. And if we go to personalization here, click on the personalization. And once you're inside personalization, what you want to do is come down to lock screen Click on the lock screen here and then you'll see an area called uh, screen saver right here. Click on screen saver and this will open up another little box, the old school uh, legacy box that you used to get. From here, you want to make sure that the on resume display log on screen, make sure that is unchecked marked right there. It's important that you have that unchecked marked, otherwise it won't work. So do that and then click apply and OK and you should be pretty much good to go on Windows 11. Now, for all you people that are on Windows 10, I will quickly show you what to do on Windows 10 as well, because I'm pretty sure that's what majority of people are still on. From there, we're going to go to the Start button and then go into the Settings panel. And it's pretty much similar to Windows 11, but slightly different. Uh, so from here, we need to go into Accounts. And once you get into Accounts here, we're going to go to Sign In Options. And on your sign-in options, you're going to come down to dynamic link right here. And you already see there is a check mark that would be in there saying allow Windows to lock your device automatically when you're away. If you've got that check mark, it's going to go into uh, lock screen mode. If you remove that, it won't. And that's exactly what you wouldn't do. Just remove that check mark there. So we're going to go back into the settings panel here and then personalization. Click on this one here. From here, you want to go to lock screen. Click on lock screen and then from here you're going to get this little option down here where it says screen saver settings. Click on this one right here. This will open up the screen saver settings and from here you definitely want to remove that on resume uh, display login on screen. So you just take that check mark out just like you would with Windows uh, 11. You just go through and do the same settings on Windows 10. You would find them and change them. So it's pretty much the same but they're in slightly different places. That's all. There's also a registry edit that you can do as well on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'll show you it on Windows 10, but you can also do this on Windows 11 as well. So from here on the registry editor, what we need to do is we need to go to this location here, HK local machine, and then come down to where it says software, open that up. And then from there, what we want to do is we want to go to policies and then Microsoft. Now, what we need to do is right click on the Microsoft directory here and we're going to create a new key and we're going to call that key disable auto lock. So right click new key and call that disable auto lock. And I can see I've got a typo there with two S's and that's OK. I'm still feeling a bit under the weather, but what you want to do here is Make sure there's no two S's there. Just make sure there's one S. And then right click. And then what you want to do is new D word 32 bit value here. And from here, you want to create a name and call this no lock screen. 
and then once that's done we can give this a value of one and we should be good to go so let's go ahead and double click on this one here and we need to give that a value of one and again you would need to obviously change that name from this to this dis not diss on disable auto lock and once you've done that you should be good to go and uh, from there we're going to go back over to windows 11 here if you've got windows 11 pro or windows 10 pro you can type gp edit and then open up the group policy editor here and make a quick edit here and this will also stop the uh, computer going to the lock screen so from here what we want to do is go to computer configuration windows templates administrative templates here then go into control panel and once you're inside control panel uh, we're going to double click on that and from here you would obviously want to go into personalization here and once you're inside here you'll be looking for do not display the lock screen here and all you need to do is just enable that feature and that will be it. You're pretty much good to go here. There is a couple of other lock screens on there, which is prevent the enabling lock screen camera and some other lock screen stuff. So if you want to play around with that, you can do. But this will just add the registry edit in there for you on Windows 10 and Windows 11. But it has to be the pro version. Otherwise, you would have to use the registry edit, which I showed you. You don't really need to do the registry edit on the pro version because you can just use the group policy editor. But that is pretty much it. That is it for this video. Just a quick video for today. Still feeling a bit under the weather. Hopefully I'll be back up and running properly very, very soon. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Bye for now.